you can looking at in the in the YouTube uh, find out called inside job. I will type in for you, okay? But the thing is like this, um, before I can, I can show you from my um, class about inside job documentary uh, movie, uh, but however, from, from the Zoom, I cannot do that. Okay, we did a try last semester, couldn't show you here. So what are you gonna do is uh, you're gonna do that way. You're gonna be uh, look watching the TV or YouTube video, if you can, if you cannot, then you just read the book because what happened is we want to give you class time to watch in the movie. Uh, so we don't have class next class means the next class is you watch a movie class, but I cannot show you, but you're watching yourself. Okay, so you understand what I mean? Yes, Professor. So we're not meeting next class on Thursday we're gonna use that time to either right. read the book or watch exactly. the movie. Yes, we don't have class, okay? You just do yourself for, for this chapter. You have, you can watch the movie you watch. If don't, you just read the chapters, okay? Um, so, and that's it. So that's next class. And then, then after next class, that will be becoming spring break, right? So you have one week of spring. So that's good, perfect for us, okay? So that means we don't, uh, then we come back, continue from chapter 10, okay? Starting from the um, intense of analysis of this uh, uh, course, okay? So that's it. So I'm go to the chapter eight. Chapter eight is very easy. That's why this few is one class will be finished, okay? So here's the chapter eight. Chapter eight is trying to tell you is this. If you learn, you know, we learn chapter seven, stock market is so important. The stock market pricing is, we use golden growth model. I'm sure in the exam will pop up for you. So sounds like stock market is very important. And uh, even, uh, you know, even in news and all our daily news will be pop up those kind of information about stock market like today tank again, right? So, but in reality, you will find out what's going on, all right? So this chapter tell you a lot of things, you're surprised, okay? Let's, see, let's go there. So economic analysis of a financial structure, okay? So let's go take a look. First of all, this is trying to show you the reality, okay? What's the fact? What's the facts we have it, okay? So you can see this is trying to tell you what's going on over the since 1970 to 2000. We we're showing you this chart, okay? You don't need to bother about the slides. This chart is very, very important. So I want you watching and read it and give me the summary. This is very important. It makes sense about your all the following uh, this chapter. See how you can summary. You follow me, okay? Follow is a good thing. You don't waste your time. Then you wanna be go back, read a book, and then you double uh, learning. So anybody can summary about this chart. Um, oh, it, look, it looks like that with non-bank loans and bonds, um, the United States is uh, generally much higher than uh, many of the other markets. Okay, whereas the Whereas mm -hmm. the bank loans are drastically, insanely lower. Bank loans lower compared to what? Compared to um, the other markets. Why is lower? What do you mean lower? You see the bank loans are high. Your first one is very good, okay? You did a good job on the first part. Second part, uh, bank loans lower. Are you making just like what I did, right? I, I said interest going high, supposed to going down. 
So sometimes you type, okay, when you're typing too many things, you just totally get lost. All right, so let's repeat again. First part you write, okay? You see, say again, so for follow his lead, somebody else can help him to continue summary about, like I said, treat this class as you're dealing with real world and you report it to your boss, you get a chart, how you interpret to your boss, how to say this, what's going on with data? What did data tell you? You make a beautiful chart, then you do not know what I mean, right? So let's say what's going on here. Or did a good job, first part, second part, and um, the loans uh, less, uh, I don't know, compared to who's less, loans in the high bar there, right? Let somebody else help him. Yeah, I think he just meant that the bank loans in the United States were uh -huh. significantly lower than the bank loans I in see. The countries like Germany, Japan, and Canada. Okay. Okay, very good. You, you cover up for him. Very good. What else? Very good. You both add up together. Very good. What else? So you see the stock market stocks, right? That's an overall, just the category by category, right? You see stocks. Compare others, bonds, no bank loans, bank loans, stock market stocks for the firms raising capital from stock market. Is it that big? No, it's uh, it's pretty much equal. Pretty much equal, even compared to bank loans, small. Okay, so what is, one thing, one fact we know, stock market not important. How about that? What does it mean not important, okay? Stock market, that means raising capital. Remember, we talk about business right now. So in the world, okay, the, the business, any business raising capital, really not go to IPOs, really not go to security markets. Because they do, they will be go to the issue stock or issue bonds. They not really, you can see the biggest one in the left side, the bank loans, Oh, no bank loans. Basically tell your loan market, okay? is much, much more important to the world for business to raising capital, all right? So here, let me mention a little bit regarding to this 18% US, okay? United States, you know, we have a huge, okay, markets, stock market. So every, you know, most big, large corporation, they can issue, uh, securities in the market to raising capital. They can do that in US, we can. That's why you know we have uh, big corporations, Netflix, Google's, uh, you know, Facebook, they all billion, billion, not a billion, just one billion, co close to trillion, like uh, Microsoft, right? Two trillion, Apple, two trillion. So we have this special way. So we compare Germany and Japan, you can see. We are large corporation country, okay? Other country, you can tell from the bank loan point of view, Japan and Germany, they have more small business. So they depend on loan to raising capital, okay? So this overall summary tell you bank loan and no bank loan is much more easy, much more important in financial market, in raising capital, in raising funds to do business, okay? So, now the really stock and bond market in that way. So therefore trying to tell you who's important. So that's why when Fed want to help the market, they really go to the lending out to banks. That's why they help banks, make sure banks can lending out the loans. So that's what they, they do. We call helicopter lending and that's what they do. You didn't see they have on the stock and bond. They don't, they have it on bank loans and no bank loans so that the, market will smoothly raising capital business continue smoothly do business right so for the business okay for the corporations for firms all right so this give you a fact so now we based on this fact we had to interpret if a loan is so important rather than stocks or bond then how we deal with this how the loan they make the progress uh, or lendings uh, and then how that works we do know loan can be default so then if we have default risk how are they gonna do that? Okay, so many, many things surrounding this fact. Okay, so we have eight facts, okay? So just summary, okay, see this here summary is very good. They have eight summary from that chart, right? So one is 
Stocks, not important. Okay, they tell you now. It's not important for raising capital. That's why it's not important the source of external financing for our business because means you want to use the stock market, raising capital, raising money to do business. That's not the mainly from stock market, okay? So that's the first one. Second one, okay, so issuing market, marketable debt, okay? Issue, issue bond, right? Issue the very high liquid bonds and the equity securities is not the primary way in which businesses finance their operation. So this is summary again, tell you bond and the stock is not, it's not the prim, primary method to raising capital, okay, for business. So let's repeat again for that piece, okay? So indirect finance, indirect, fi remember direct financing is we go to the IPO market, uh, issue security, that direct raising capital, right? Like a Twitter, if you want to raise capital, go to IPO, that's direct financing, okay? So indirect is a borrowing, right? From lending from uh, intermediate uh, bankings, right? For example, so indirect finance is many times more important. Remember we say it's we are the Fed. So we are the Fed, we have to understand where is the important things there. So indirect financing is important, okay? Because it helps in the market uh, lending the loans. That's the word indirect. Indirect, you need the intermediaries, institutions, right? Like uh, banking, commercial banks. Okay, you buy, you buy a house, you need to go to banks. You, need, you buy the cars, you need a bank. Right, so you open small business restaurant, you need to go to bank. You not go to the financial market issuing stocks or bond, you can't, all right? So that's why you cannot do direct financing. You have to go to indirect finance, okay? So go to the intermediaries, all right? So that's what, the, number four. So uh, sorry, sorry, professor, go ahead, quick question. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned that indirect financing would be through the intermediaries? Yes, yes. And, and direct finance would be from where? From market, from a security market. Oh, right. okay, okay. Right, right. So you go to directly, you want to, let's say, uh, newer um, corporation, venture capital want to go to IPOs, they go to direct financing, right? So direct go to IPO, reaching capital or selling security or selling the bond. But indirect means you need the intermediaries. You need a, like a banking commercial bank, borrow money from them, right? So that's what they do. All right, very good question, okay. So financial intermediaries, right? Right now, we pretty much just use bank as a, a key example because banks, you go to JP Morgan borrowing student loans, car loans, and mortgage loans, pretty much bank doing those job, okay? So they are, more, they are most important. So that's why you know why each time we have financial crisis, the Fed pay all the banks because they are so important to our well-being economy, okay? So that's why most important source of funds used for business it means all the business, large or small, they need to go to banks to get loans, okay? So that's what is the financial intermediaries like banks, very, very important because we just saw the data showing us loan market is so important. Very good. So let's go next one, right? So financial system is among the most heavily regulated because you just saw it, the lending becoming so important, the loans are so important, and that means the financial intermediaries are so important. And they are so important, that's why we have to be have very good regulation, make sure the loan lending smoothly in the economy system, right? So that's why you can see, you can understand why financial uh, market or financial institutions have such high armies of regulators. And SEC, the Fed, you know, many, many regulators on top of each other that, that way, okay? I remember um, one time, so that's after 2008, JP Morgan CEO, Jamie Dimon said that, you know, each year he spent $1 billion just, just doing the regulatory uh, reports, the cost for him to do that job, uh, just spend one billion. That means a lot of regulation on top of the, you know, the JP Morgan. So they have to print out a report or hire employee. That's a couple of billion, right? So that means uh, you can see regulations are 
is very very strong in that industry okay in financial industry in uh, for on the intermediate risk okay so number six so large well established corporations have easy access to security markets to finance their activities. So what that mean? That means if Apple, for example, Apple just a couple of months ago, they are buying, they are you know, issuing bonds. Remember I mentioned that Apple have so many cash okay, sit down there, but they still wanted to issuing you know, debt security, means issue, issuing bond. Why? Because they want to take advantage of this low interest rate. But Apple is Apple. They are, you know, well established uh, corporation and the glamour corporation. Everybody wants their bonds and they can sell. So that means uh, only those large, good corporations, they want the issuing security, raising capital, they can. All right. So that, that's why they are easily access to security markets, means they can issue bonds and stocks to raising capital. They can, but not a small business. Okay. That's the point here. Okay. So number seven. So that means the other thing is to tell you if you want to borrow money, especially you and me buy a house, right? So you can see that the collateral, collateral is very, very important, okay? Because uh, normally uh, banking feels secure if you have your something as a collateral deposit, right? So it means they can lend your money easily. You have to have something. If you have one house, you buy a second one relatively easier, okay? Or oh, if you're rich, wealthy, of course, easy to get a loan, right? So that's what we know. So collateral is the uh, important uh, way to prevent somebody, you know, disrupt or broken the promise to pay, uh, make a loan payments, okay? Number eight, so debt contracts. So that means uh, if you buy, if you buy bonds, okay? Normally you have contract, legal contract, you signed, okay? You buy a house, you're gonna to sign too. But the normally by a bond, now I'm trying to say here, okay, that contracts are extremely complicated legal documents. You do know when you buy a house, definitely um, the, those loan lending, the process take a long time, a lot of documents that you will sign. And uh, so that contract is similar like that way, okay? If corporation borrow, borrow money from you, they have legal contract signing with you, okay? Very complicated, that's why they have corporate lawyers. Okay, corporate lawyers a very good job, you know. Just a couple of lawyers, they are not, they don't have that many lawyers, it's just a couple and just signing those documents and that's it, all right? They verify, they sign. So, so, so the complicated, right? But however, those dead contract can scare a lot of bad borrowers, okay? Because they can, you see, sub substantial restrictive covenants to um, borrowers it means the borrower when they sign the contract they know they don't want it to break the contract so then they uh, go to jail right so something wrong they're going to be get trouble so that's why this that contract in certain ways is helpful for the for lenders okay so that's the so this a facts okay so that's we know because the loan is so important so that's why we had to figure out how to make a loan um, safer, okay, make the business better. So how we do that? So this whole core, this is the whole chapter surrounding this idea, how to take care of those loans, okay? So transaction cost, okay? So remember in financial market, the financial intermediaries, right, can help us do a lot of things. I want you to tell me about regarding to economics of skill. I think I mentioned it before. I want you to use your word interpretive example. You can just talk about real life example. So just I just see, you know what I mean, economics of skill. Anybody? So economic of skill. So what I mean, financial intermediaries have been involved to reduce transaction cost. And one example is the economics of a skill. So economics, economies of scale is mm -hmm. when um, the sheer size of a, a, a financial actor, well, let's call it a company, 
Mm -hmm. uh, allows it to uh, lower its costs. Uh, mm -hmm. So for example, if I open a burger stand um, and I compete against McDonald's, McDonald's will probably get their beef much cheaper than me because they can make bulk orders right. and get preferential pricing. Very good, yes. Okay, yes, McDonald's definitely is that kind of business model. That's their business model. Their business model is low margin, but smart economic of scale means the big volumes, okay, volumes of selling, volumes to, or into whole, whole and like a wholesale, you know, that way means bigger, okay? So the bigger, the cheaper, because they, they are uh, uh, device of those portions of the cost. All right, so let me, for example, I say from our customer point of view, remember we say, you know, like a Costco, right? You go to Costco to shopping and you buy whole package, all right, big package. And, but it, because you buy big package, that's why you cut off uh, each item. So you feel like it's cheaper, all right? So that's why they're selling whole big one. Normally you don't need it, but if you have bigger family, it's a good deal. So, but uh, the, who can doing that? It's only economic intermediaries can help you. I want to use another example. This is a, a Costco from our customer point of view. Let's say go to our financial market point of view. Let's say you buy, you want to buy Google stock, all right? Google stock right now trading at $2,000, $50, $2,000 and $50, $2,050 a share, okay? I don't know, today maybe down a little bit, but you you just see when uh, $2,000, okay? You just see $2,000, you cannot buy a share of Google, all right? So that means uh, you cannot enjoy the Google's uh, stocks uh, moving higher and lower, you know, may enjoy this uh, capital, you know, um, uh, business, but you can. So then you are a little bit unhappy and said, this market is not good. I couldn't do anything if uh, like this expensive stocks. So, but uh, however, financial intermediaries, we have those kind of business make the, for example, ETF exchange uh, fund, uh, like we said, exchange trade fund, right? So those funds, ETFs can help you to purchasing those, uh, stocks which in the ETF. So Google will be in the certain, a lot of the technologies, uh, those are sectors, okay? So you can buy those from, buy those who have inside, inside ETFs, okay? Many ETFs inside have Google stocks. You can enjoy that too. So you can buy the ETFs, then you enjoy the whole sector. Also inside I have Google. If Google going up, you enjoy it, right? So that's what you can get in. So that's because the financial intermediaries created this kind of products, okay? So that's what we can enjoy those, okay? So that's another thing is reduce cost. You don't have to spend $2,000 on it by one share or even cannot get a one share. But now you can, all right? So you can, so financial intermediaries help us a lot, okay? So that's one thing. So that's from that way, right? Second one is the expertise. Okay, so regarding expertise, I just want to mention a couple of things. In the financial industries, uh, every field have expertise. For example, finance, in finance, people get the, you know, CFAs, okay? So we know that certificate charter finance, right? So those uh, CFAs is expertise, right? So you have certifications. You have accounting, CPAs also have certifications, not beyond, you know, just the certificates. Many, many field department have different kind of experts just doing that one thing. For example, people doing loan writing, writing loans, you borrow, go to JP Morgan, borrow money for housing, for buy a house. They will lend you money, but those people who lend you money, they are experts. They have many years experience, know how to dealing with customer, provide loans, those expertise, okay? So financial intermediaries, they have those expertise. You, let's say your doctor, your dentist, whatever lawyer, you, can, you do not know how to dealing with financial products, but you're leaving to financial 
professionals, so those expertise, okay? So only those financial intermediaries have those expertise help us to lower the cost and provide the service. Okay, like we say, because we talk about loan, remember? So now we have to figure out the problem we can, you know, we maybe meet during this process, right? So one thing is asymmetric information. All right, so as a information. So here's what we, we are, I think we mentioned it before, but let's say is what I mean as a metric information. All right, so first thing is uh, we, I mentioned that information not transparent, let's call as a information. But here is the, within this as a information problem, we have uh, the word selection and the moral hazard. All right, so we need to distinguish them. What I mean are the words of selection, all right? So now here, give you example, say, uh, the word selection is before things happen. So what I mean, do you remember we mentioned a little bit if you know what I mean are the word selection? Let's see what you recall or you can summary here. What it means are the word selection? Anybody recall the word selection? Just to give you an example, say, okay, we know it's before transaction happen. What do I mean? SMS information, it is uh, uh, inside, uh, have two definitions. One is uh, the word selection. Uh, the, word sele uh, the word selection is SMS information, okay? And the moral hazard is also SMS information. But how to say uh, the words of uh, the words selection versus the moral hazard? But you don't need to worry about how moral hazard now. Just worry about the uh, words selection. Give me an example. What do you mean uh, the words selection? Use example. I just see you understand or not. Uh, it is before. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Give a, give a try. Yeah, I, I think I recall an example where uh, one person Mm -hmm. can be considered a safe borrower okay would, uh, you know not take on so much risk but is not that motivated to go get the loan but another person considered to be um, a higher risk borrower mm -hmm. has more motivation to go get the loan okay due to the fact that the low risk borrower did not go get it Mm -hmm. The high risk borrower got it just because they they went for it. So I think that's kind of what I meant, but I don't know if that's no, it. No, 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 you, you close. Okay, but then you had to think about the other side. You're very good from that piece, okay? But then think of the other side means what about lend, lender? How lenders think about this two person, two people, right? One is a risky borrower, one is not risky borrower, right? Let's say I am a lender. I look at both of you, what I was thinking, I don't. I know the good borrower now that desperately really want to borrow, but risky borrower that's to knock my door every day want to borrow. Then what am I gonna do? Think about in my shoes, I'm a lender. What I should do? What I should do? It's you. I think you have. It's two scenarios here. So you either choose the risky one or you don't lend at all. Exactly. Thank you very much. I don't lend because I do not know. I only know is good borrower walk away. Don't, but the only risky one come. Why I want to lend into the risky guy? I can lose money. So I'm not lending. So that's what is I'm not what I'm not lending means I walk away. Uh, the words is selected. I'm not selected. I'm not se select anyone. So that's why it not happen. That's why before the transaction means I don't lending. Before the transaction, we have uh, the word selection problem. I'm not gonna lending. So becoming nobody lending to anybody, even you good borrower, I'm not lending to you because I at this point in time, it's difficult because remember it's a symmetric information problem. This whole, this uh, the word selection and the moral hazard, both is under a semantic information problem, okay? So it means we don't have information transparency. Only possible is a high risky borrower could knock my door and I don't want lending to him. 
but then low risky guy do not really desperate want to borrow. So based, so the end up is I'm not lending anybody. Okay, so that's what a worse or the worst means away from. So that's what is called before transaction. Very good. Okay, so that's why we piece it by piece. Then we're gonna be get there. Okay, what about moral hazard? So what a moral hazard will do? See, moral hazard is after transaction, okay? So give example, same thing. How moral hazard could happen? Uh, let me give example, I say, during the financial crisis, I see it, which is uh, Lehman Brothers, Beer certainly collapse, okay? The top of the top, the, the top of five investment bankings, right? So they collapse, and that moment, many people read, uh, you know, holding the banner, banners. Okay, say moral hazard, moral hazard. Just, just tell the everybody it's moral hazard right now. So what I mean? So after transaction. So what do I mean, moral hazard? Do you have example or how that works? What What do I mean after transaction? We could have moral hazard problem. Moral hazard is when the borrower repur basically repurposes the loan uh, and puts it at higher risk. Um, they put themselves at a higher risk of repaying the loan by, for example, betting on a horse race or investing into a risky stock. Right. Um, and this makes it more difficult to pay back mm -hmm. um, the loan to the to the lender. Mm -hmm. um, and thus it just increases the overall risk of lending. Right, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, now you, he got it, okay. So moral hazards is after transaction, it means that I as a lender already lend you money, okay? So because I lend you money, uh, then you have the this, uh, money, then you know what happened? First of all is if you are risky borrower, what do you mean risky borrower? Means you don't have money at all. You don't have you know collateral. You don't have a house, second house. You have both. You don't have both yet. You have no wealth, nothing, right? That's risky borrower. Basically, you have nothing else. So if you have nothing else, you suddenly get the money you borrowed. How happy you are, right? And then you think about wait a minute. I have this money now. So I use this money invest on treasury bill. Just give me zero point one percent, or I go to the you know Las Vegas gambling. Maybe chance I make a fifty percent. You know you balance out. You feel you know what I'm go to Las Vegas. Why? Because you say I have nothing to lose. If I lose this one, I still have nothing, right? But chances are I can make a fifty percent return, right? So so that's what the this moral, that's why this moral problem, this moral problem. Why is moral problem? Because you're not responsible. When you got the money, you don't responsible to act as a responsible person to your lender, okay? So you just abuse this money, which basically you should be do a very good job, use this money committed to what the lender, you know, led you to do. That's a lender lending you buy a house or lender one of you buy the pay student loan, but you didn't go to Las Vegas. Okay, that's your moral issue. So that's why once it's lending the money, then lenders are very worried about this moral hazard problem because some risky borrower could be take this money to anything, okay? To do any risky act, that's the problem. All right, so now we have two students, right? One is before lending, one is after lending, we have problem. But remember all surrounding the loans, right? So now we had to deal with, so we had to know how to do it, how to prevent it, okay? So let's do it. So before we go there, we need to also have to know this agency theory. So in equity market, I think you guys learn corporate finance, you know, agency theory here is referred to the corporate, uh, the equity market about the principal and the agency problem. Remember in the corporation, they go, they went to public, like Apple, Apple Corporation, the, the CEO, CFO, those managers are agency, okay? And uh, you and me who own the Apple shares, we are owners. But we are owner, we're now there. You are lawyer, doctor, you're not a manager of the company, but you're owner. But the agency, they are manager, they manage this company. So therefore we have conflict interest because uh, the manager know inside out what's about the corporation, what's going on. But they, you know, we are the owner, 
but they they are act as us but however they could be to pursue their own interest their in, own interest means they can go to golfing during the day they can fly to jets go to the vacation whatever we do not know or they don't want, uh, want us to know but they are it's not their business they are it's not their uh, company it's our company okay we are owner of the share remember so that's the problem that's the agency principal problem so that's becoming we also do not have information that's why it's a symmetric information problem in the equity market okay so just trying to tell you here uh we do know that it's how we deal with the agency principal problem let me ask you do you do you remember when you learn corporate finance when you talk about the principal agency problem that moment do you know how to solve the problem well, one solution is a proxy war. Okay. Go ahead and tell people about what I mean. Give an example. A proxy war is when investors or external stakeholders are unhappy with management. Uh -huh. And so an outside entity will basically uh, purchase as many shares as possible in order to tip the balance in um, ownership of the company. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, they take over the management and right. they and they basically put in managers who they see fit to run the company. Right. OK, very good. OK, for example, the very, very popular guy is uh, Bill Hackman. Uh, he's the guy always doing that kind of the uh, merger acquisition for the comp corporation. They, they want to remove all those management. They just purchase shares to become the majority holder. And then just kick the board, kick those CEOs out, and then re reconstruct the company, and then go to the uh, IPO again and make money. So a lot of people like that. Because this, you have to be rich, right? You have to be have a lot of money so you can do that way. So that's another way they trying to do business. Okay, very good. Okay, so beyond that, have another one. Let's see, very very popular one too. So how to solve an agency principal problem? Um, an, another way is to make sure that the managers are invested in the company by either giving them stocks or giving or ma making them invest some of their own money in the company right. so that they are, if the com if they do well and benefit the company, then they themselves benefit. Right, right, right. Okay, give them a stock options. Right, very good. Okay, just for example, if uh, if this firm, let's like say this this firm is the GameStop. Okay, didn't hypothetical. Okay, didn't run well. Then we bring or come in say, okay, we give you you know four hundred, let's say forty million dollar forty million shares. You come to the board for five years. If a stock right now trading at let's say two hundred dollar per share. But if between, within five years, if the stock go to three hundred dollar per share, and you will catch in for forty millions. If below, you know, three hundred dollar per share, you get nothing. And so you will definitely working very hard to make sure five, within five years this stock will go to three hundred dollars per share. All right, it's a hypothetical way. And so that's why you're working hard. Okay, so you don't go to golfing now. You go to working hard because you want a forty million dollars. So that's the whole point is regarding to stock options, give incentive, okay, uh, for company to doing that. But we'll talk about this, uh, uh, you know, have uh, the drawback about this one, okay, about the, the, the stock options. But it's but definitely it's the way to doing that, okay. And like uh, that proxy also is a way, okay. So like we say, everything we learn, and then we now that you and me say American from market. If everything wrong, we learn, then we fix it, we'll do it again, make it better. Okay. So we know the problem right now. Okay. So now here's to give you another uh, very, very important one is uh, uh, this lemon problem. Anybody know what I mean, lemon or oh, lemon problem? What I mean? Have you heard about somebody? Maybe heard about somebody, somebody maybe not. What do you mean, lemon problem? It is something warm. Uh, economics, a thousand class where they were talking uh -huh. about lemons. I, I think it's yeah. like, it's a bad thing in the group. That's the, I, I <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. just, yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah, so that's, it's just not good, right? That's true, lemon. Is that this one's a lemon? Okay, so anybody heard about lemon in the used car market? Yes. 
Okay, when, you buy, when you buy a car and everything looks good, but then two weeks later it breaks due to some hidden problems, exactly. that's a lemon. Exactly. Very good. Okay, so you all have this kind of sense. Very good. That's exactly the point. Okay, lemon is not good. It means lemon is uh, okay, okay. It just means a very, very low bar product. Okay, it's not good. So, however, this economics, he got the Nobel Prize from this theory, okay, Lehman theory, okay, so he used the used car, the George, George Akloff, okay, this, uh, actually, he's Yelling's husband, okay, so George, this uh, economist, he find out the theory, okay, Lehman problem theory, he used this used car theory, if you like a used car dealer, don't give a full information. You all know that. If you go to used car a dealer, maybe now it's better. Okay, now because technology, everything from computer, from merchant, find out all information. But in the past, it's not. Okay, this is right now we talk about information, remember? So in the past, when you buy, you go to used car dealer there, looking at the car, they all shiny, beautiful, looking so good. But you do not know which car have, what's the history of the car? Do they have an accident? Do they, you know, have a you know, problem in the water and there's something you want to know? But you don't have those data, you do not know. You just take a chance, right? So that's the problem. That's called Lehman use the car problem. So Professor George is trying to figure out, say, you know, this kind of problem is also in our stock market, the financial market too. And that's how we link to this car problem to the financial market, okay? But that's understand the first thing to go follow with this, okay? So lemon problems. So how are the words selection? Remember the word selection means they didn't do anything yet, just away from that. It means they haven't landing yet, right? So how are the word selection influence the financial structure? It means affect our market, okay? So follow this logic. So if quality cannot be assessed, so it means we don't have information to know the car's good or, or not good. So we cannot assess means we cannot estimate it, right? The car's good or not good, right? So the buyer is willing to pay at most a price that reflects the average quality. Means the buyer, just let's say you used, used the car, right? The used the car buyer won't be, won't pay higher than the average price because they do not know whether this car is above average or not because it's used the car. So then, because you don't have information, so they won't willing to pay more than average car price, okay? So that's what they're trying to say because the information is not available. However, seller, look at the seller, sellers, of a good quality items. Let's say you drive BMW just one year. One year, how nice, it didn't do anything wrong, especially for those leasing car business. They always leasing the you know, second year's car they're selling, right? So good car, whatever. So sellers of good quality cars, items, will not want to selling at the average price, right? If one year BMW, you want this BMW selling at the average price, for example, five years uh, BMW will be average car. And you're only driving one year and you want to sell it, you want to drive in, let's say, Tesla. You just change the style, but the car's pretty good. But you go to use the, use the car selling there, they give you the average price. And you won't happy, you won't sell it. And that's why seller of good quality cars, they will not sell it at the average price. Okay, follow this logical argument, okay? So the buyer will decide not to buy at all. So then if because you can see good car won't be in there because the seller, good seller, the, the, the car, they won't put it in the average price. So they walk away, okay? So buyer based on this analysis, analysis say, you know what? Good car won't be selling in here at the average price. So buyer will say, you know what? Actually, all the price, all the car there becoming bad car. Good car they won't sell. So bad car means lemons, right? So buyer then decide not buy. Because I, I don't all the car you're selling average price. Actually, they all below average quality. That's what the buyer make a conclusion. So they walk away. Okay. Because all that is left in the market is the poor quality items. 
that's when this professor got the Nobel because based on the used car argument. So then conclusion is uh, nobody buy used car because nobody get the information or buy the car there. So then becoming this market becoming problem because nobody buy the used car because no information available. So this, this market is going to be problem. So used car dealer is market going to be trouble. Nobody like to go there to shopping. So then the market won't be exist longer. So they have to increase, increase the transparency means to solve this lemon problem. Okay, so that's the problem we argue, right? So let's see how we solve it, right? So now you know good car won't be there, bad car there, but the buyer don't want to go to buy it. Buyer figure out what's going on in that market now. So we have to solve it. If not solve it, this market won't exist, okay? So let's go to their tools. Okay, how to solve uh, the worst selection. Remember the worst selection, they gone. They don't even go into the market. It's just they, they don't buy, okay? So that's the first one. So prime, provide, production and sell information. So remember our whole problem is we do not know use the car, what's the, you know, which year, what's broken or under the flood, those info we don't have it, right? But now we encourage the private sectors, anybody, you and me, we can work in hard, create information, right? Because the whole problem is no information. So that's why in the past, you, you maybe don't experience that. In the past uh, several you know, uh, decades ago, 20 years ago, they do have magazine, okay, car magazine. So the, in the magazine, showing used car, which years, which models, how much money they selling. Okay, they do, somebody provide this magazine selling information, okay? So this is good. So people get the information, then you go based on the magazine, you say, oh, I, I saw it, this is a good one. I'm go there based on my magazine, tell me which one I will buy. Okay, but that's the past, right? Right now, even better. Right now, you go to uh, online to search any car, so you can see the models, the history, the mileages, and uh, you know how many hands changed. All those things you can see. So much better right now because of the technology. Okay, so this some people are selling this information. So why we have a free rider problem if we have this problem solve it? but it could have another small problem. What do you mean free rider problem? Anybody can get it, what do you mean? Well, that's when you have a street lamp and you want someone, so street lamp, it gives light to everything, but someone has to pay for the street lamp. But the thing is that if someone pays for the street lamp, then someone who didn't pay for it will get the benefits of the street yeah. lamp. So then exactly. you have the government step in and they solve that problem by getting taxes from everyone and cre and creating that social imbalance. Okay. By, by very, uh, fixing the social imbalance. Okay, very good. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay, for example, I can give you a say from stock market situation. Okay, you, if you, in you are financial working in the finance, right? So, most people institution institutions or hedge funds or money managers they will subscribe a borrow. You heard about borrow, right? So. Borrowing a charge you pay fee you can buy. So let's say if I am the professional uh, finance analyst, I do a lot of hard work. Okay, I'm doing the secure analysis that I publish in the borrow. And then what happens is they pay me, uh, you know, so how, how people get the daily job, right? You get paid so you can survive, right? So they're writing those analysis, publish there, and that magazine selling to subscribers, right? So but if, let's say hypothetically, let's say you, you pay each month, let's say $30 per month, so hypothetical, pretty much normally it's expensive financial analysts uh, uh, magazines. And then let's say you pay it. And then you pay, you find, oh, okay, this magazine mentioned this uh, gold or silver or steel, right now it's hard or whatever. So you feel it's great. And then you pay the, the subscriber and then you buy this stock. And then your friends follow you and it's feel like, oh, you buy the gold. Okay, I follow you. I know you have that magazine. So he follow you, he buy the gold too. And you both rich, okay? But then you were looking at him and said, wait a minute, I pay costs me and then I buy to get rich and you buy the two without pay anything. So you are the free rider, okay? 
So that French is a free writer. So that's discouraging you. You say, you know what, well, I'm not a subscriber either. So, so becoming private information selling this market is discouraged, okay? So people don't like to do this anymore. That's why you can see right now, really magazines, nobody buy, right? So because not also because the technology, people can get free information, why, why buy magazines? So that's, you can see free writer kill this market, okay? So pretty much information too much available, you can get free while you're subscribing. I think to you guys, young generation, nobody even want watching cable anymore, nobody pay chemo, cable. The cable, you know, channels, right? You don't watch this anymore. You're just watching the stream. So that's the total things. The market changing, okay? That's what we're trying to mean, say is a free riders because we want to encourage information transparency. We want a market that give all the information. So we encourage the selling information, but then we have discouraged it from the free riders. Okay, that's what I mean. All right, but the, the other way. So what is the worst selection problem is government, okay? That's why you can see government is so important here, right? Regulations, pushing those companies, disclosure, all those information. For example, you can go to Yahoo Finance, you can see all the public corporations have, a, you know, all the, you know, financial statements, financial statements, three statements, right? Just like your old families, all the money in and out, Everybody can see it. Even potential buyer can see it. That's why they all gave those information. They have to, because regulator tell them must be disclosure. Okay, so that's a, one thing is uh, increase our information, which is the whole point is information, right? So that's how uh, they solve this problem. Okay, the other one is the financial intermediaries. Okay. You pretty much can see uh, financial, you, if you have broker uh, accounts, right? You will see financial intermediary like uh, investment banking have so many analysts, okay? Or brokers, uh, uh, dealers, they have some uh, um, analysts too, financial analysts. They follow certain corporation companies. For example, people follow financial sectors. They follow JP Morgan, Bank of America, Citigroup, okay? And then they each quarter, you know, always publish, not each quarter, anytime they wanted to publish information, say I downgrade, let's say downgrade a city group. And then people will follow and he will mention about what's reason downgrade a city group. He downgrade or upgrade those kind of information from their info research. Okay, that's intermediary uh, companies give this research information and then all the world can see it. Okay, they provide their expertise, remember, can provide those information. So financial intermediary can help us to get better information. Okay, that's what the one thing. Okay. Now we go to collateral and the net wealth worth, right? So we said that if you buy, buy a house, you have second house, you buy a third house, you're always easy to buy because you have the other property to against the loans, okay? So, but if you buy per, uh, first house, right? You just put a down payment, the more down payment, the better. So no matter what, it's those help you to get a, easily to get a loan, okay? Also, because your credit score is good, then you can get a cheaper loan, okay? Because your quality is good. So that's a, another thing can help you, okay? So that's how, financial market that deal with those problems. Okay, this only talk about the adverse election. Okay, we will go to moral hazard. Okay, so how moral hazard affect the choice because it's already lending to you. Okay, moral hazard means it already happened, lend out already. Okay, now how are we gonna deal with those risky borrower? Okay, so, so let's see what happened. So, that's what we mentioned about this uh, principal agency problem, right? We just mentioned about that, right? So pre-agent problem, uh, we say it's in the equity market. So here, just mentioned we already did, okay? Just quickly go there, right? So you can see stockholder is the owner. That's why it's the principal. Agent is the manager. And that's why it is, uh, you know, they manage our corporation. That's why we do not know whether they run the company as we are run our own company, we do not know. So that's why we needed to balance and control them, right? So that's what you have board of directors, you have stock options, you, you have proxies, you have and regulations, right? So that's what I mean. Okay, 
because the separation of ownership means uh, the shareholders and uh, control means the company's managers, all right? So that's why we use those solutions. We say stock ups and those things, all right? So managers pursue personal ben benefits. Like I say, is they maybe go to the golfing during the day, right? So, and the power rather than profitability of the firm means they didn't put their 100% energy on uh, the firm's profit, profitability or earnings profit, but on their own personal interest, okay? So that's why it is the problem. That's the equity piece, okay? So how to solve this problem? How to solve this equity market principle agent problem? So one is monitoring. Okay, monitoring, like I say, it is just like, uh, you know, who, whoever, if like us, we are owner of the company, of Apple company, we have shares. So monitoring normally we have, for example, the, like I said, there's the financial analysts that cover Apple Corporation and they monitor them. They really monitor, change the managers, you know, they have inside tradings, disclosure, model information, they, they follow. So they're monitoring, okay? But you and me, we cannot, but uh, we do uh, normally corporations uh, or bankings uh, or intermediaries uh, have expertise monitoring them and we get the information, okay? Government regulation, definitely from the equity market, definitely a lot of regulations from there. And then you may be heard about it as the after financial crisis, those CEOs, CFOs have to be personally sign on this documentations when they regarding to uh, financial statements. Those are three statements and other relevant information they have to sign. So if you sign, that means you certify to say, oh, I do read this number, I sign this number, it's accurate. In the past, they don't sign, you're nobody responsible. So that's why during the financial crisis, nobody go to jail because nobody really personal signed those documents. So later on, that's why you have to sign and then you have to, um, uh, they have a crawl back. Crawl back means, uh, you did a good job then, and you make a multi-million bonus, but then uh, years later, still something wrong from your that moment uh, handled the corporation, they're tracing back your money. So that's white color, uh, they don't want to have this problem. They don't want this. So that's why they right now have less problem, okay? We have less problem right now because we learn how to regulate those uh, uh, fraud, okay. So government uh, regulations, that's what I say, right? Increase the, uh, push the increase information, SEC, FED, they're all there trying to make sure information there. And the financial intermediary, like I say, same thing equity market. Uh, so those uh, financial investment banking, commercial bank, they all provided those information. And so we have it, so that's good. And the last one is, like I said, debt contracts. So that means use debt contract as a, another way to limit you. Let's say, for example, you have a bond or you have loan borrowed from bank. All information, they, your bank may be lending you mortgage loan. Meanwhile, you also have your other information. They all control you. So then they have this kind of a limit on your to take a, you know risky okay, actions. So that's the uh, they can do. All right, so what about in financial market, right? So moral hazard influence on your financial structure in debt market means in bond market, okay? So means already lending to you what happened in the bond market, okay? Debt market can borrow. Okay, so let's say borrower have incentive to take on projects that are riskier than the lenders would like. Like I just said, if you borrow the money from the bank, JP Morgan, and then you're supposed to be use the money to, to, to go to school, go to college, student loan, and then you didn't, you use the money, go to the Las Vegas, do the gambling. So that's why you take the riskier than the lender would like you do. So that's why it's lending you already and it's happened, right? So what, what the lender gonna do? So, so this prevents the borrower from paying back at the loans. So borrower have incentive to take a risk, right? So that's what the borrower had moral problem, but lender had to figure out how to prevent this to happen. Okay, let's see what I can do. So 
tools, right? How to solve moral hazard in dead market, okay? In dead contract. So first of all, like can we learn that, that I say collateral or net worth? So if you're richer, it's better. Banking easier to make a loan for you because they can always hold your uh, property, okay? So that's the one thing is uh, lenders like to do. Though, like I say, you, you're richer and easy to get a loan, okay? Lender like happy to do it. Monitoring, okay? And the enforcement of uh, restrictive covenants means you use lead legal uh, contract, okay? You, uh, that means you sign a legal contract that you're gonna be, you have to be careful because you don't wanna go to jail. Monitoring, like I say, it's uh, the lenders, normally loan lenders really monitor you. If you have delayed, let's say, remember we learned about say 30 day delinquency, which is one month, 60 days delinquency, which is two months. So once you one month delinquency, you are already on the radar or they already monitoring you. They know you are right now have trouble, but let's see next month, give you one month, let's see next month. And next month you still didn't pay, that's 60 days delinquency. That's becoming serious problem, okay? That means the market will sense, is it just you or is the market? So that's becoming, that's why during the financial crisis 2008, before that, they already starting smell. The housing market already starting have delinquency signal already come out. That's why stock market very quickly running out. Stock market is quickly selling, get out. But that's why all is, you know, people selling that you can see why market can't so fast, okay? So that's the monitoring, right? So, so then, like I say, it's the, you're gonna, gonna be on the monitoring and then you have use the legal contract, use those covenants, right? So then discourage those uh, borrowers uh, to do risky things, right? So that's the one thing. And uh, encourage uh, you know, desirable behaviors it means uh, if somebody is a good borrower, and let's like say you borrow this money, wanna buy a treasury bond, for example, but then you are want to go to college, which is uh, the bank will be happier because they encourage you your good behavior. You can go to college and you will be a better job, you're gonna pay back. So the bank knows your potential is much better. So they like this kind of people, okay? So then keep a collateral value. So, so if you collateral, so let's say for example, this is happening in 2008, okay? So people in the banking to banking or small business or whatever, they put on the treasury bond as a collateral, or they can later on become use mortgage back security as a collateral, okay? So now you know when, when mortgage market, housing market tank, so mortgage back security also drop the value. So the collateral it itself will drop the value. So that's why I keep a collateral value. That's what I mean. I mean, sometimes the collateral value will drop. But imagine that I say you have one house, you have second house, but the first house as a collateral. But the problem is maybe the first house also dropped the value plus location. That moment, you know, where you're located, also your location in the bad location, housing market, you may say also the housing dropped the value, collateral also dropped the value. So that's I have to keep up on monitoring your collateral, okay? So a lot of things, right? Okay, the other one is to provide information. So all about information. Remember we talk about information is really is money, basically. You have information, you can make money, right? So that's why we all, this lending, loan lending market is not a financial market that can trading activity, security market. It's lending a lot of information needed to disclose, right? So that's why we need information. All right, so that's why financial intermediary can help us provide us information, all right? So that's trying to tell you, do those things and we can solve the problem. So here I gave you a list about, uh, you don't need a, you just quick looking at it, but don't bother, don't bother about it. This is summary, what we just mentioned about how to solve uh, asymmetric information, how to solve uh, the all included, like uh, the ones, uh, the worst selection and the moral hazard. Okay, those are the tools, so what do we have it? So asymmetric information in transition and the developing countries, right? Just touch. So in US, we learn from the past mistake, we fix very quickly, okay? 
in the international other countries, maybe they are not as our countries that kind of efficient way to quickly solve the problem because they also have a corruption issues, uh, you know, have uh, also my, many, like Europe, they have so many countries and have ECBs and it's much more difficult to dealing with each countries like we here, one country dealing in different states. So that's a little bit different, but the same logic, okay? They do the same method, the same logic, okay? So, but they are relatively less uh, transparency compared to us. Okay, to US. Okay, so give you a touch on about the other country. But if you go to developing countries, not developed countries, developing country, it will be more like emerging market, right? So it'd be going to be more issues there. But you just have similar, similar, similar ideas, but it's only the different. Okay, it's a problem. Okay. So financial development and economic growth. Okay. So Basically, trying to give you a summary, the last slides here, okay? I'm trying to tell you, financial system, if we have better information transparent, much better, okay? It means the economy will be efficient and the uh, uh, growth, the economic GDP income, our income GDP growth will be much better because efficient, right? So information transparent. But if not, we, can, we could interrupt like a financial crisis 2008, that basically housing market interrupt everything, right? So not only us globally, so that's becoming the problem. So that's the whole point, let me summary about this is regarding to asymmetric information, all right? So asymmetric information means information not transparent, that's why asymmetric. But uh, we have two category ones are the worst, which is before transaction, which the other one it is after transaction called moral hazard. It means the ones are lending to you, you maybe take a risk. So that's a moral issue. You have moral issue and that's could be also a problem, all right? You see in this chapter very, um, it just highlight, tell you, stock market, bond market, that's called security markets not really that important from a fund point of view, from a you know, funding market point of view, means how to get money, get a funding to do business from that point of view, bond and the stock market, not that important, all right? Means to get money, do business. Really, really get money, do business is through lending, banking loans, no banking loans, those kind of market. But then if you know loan market is important, and then you have to figure out how to solve those information, not a transparent problem. And that's why we give you so many tools for each kind of category, okay? So that's what this chapter is about. Um, any question here? We have five minutes, but I'm done this chapter. And then like, like I mentioned about, I repeat again, next class, we don't have a class, okay? Your job is chapter nine. I won't talk about chapter nine anymore. And then we'd come back after your spring break. I think that's a spring break. That's after next class is spring break. Then, so that means good. You have long uh, week, okay? So then we come back, will be chapter 10. So let's say spring break next week after this next class next week, then you come back, you come back at uh, April 6th. Okay, so that's we're going to be chapter 10. So remember, your job is to take care of chapter nine. You can watch a movie. The movie, let me type in here, called Inside Job. Okay, Inside Job. So that's a documentary movie regarding to financial crisis. You needed to know because you're too young for those the crisis, but you needed to know because then you learn what, we, what happened. Then you, when you are in the manager position, you know how to prevent it, okay? Called Inside jobs okay so it's documentary okay it's not a movie so regarding the financial crisis you can look in google and then you can find out you maybe can watch it if not just read the chapters because that's the uh, chapter cover chapter nine and then we don't talk about this anymore and uh, i just uh, like i say this is self-study on chapter nine basically normally i can show you know, the movie i can't right now because the june don't take my uh, movie from online any question? So professor, we don't have to log into Zoom on next class, right? No, you don't have class. Yes, you don't. 
So that means that all the way I will see you on April 6th. I hope I'm not wrong, okay? You, if you know I'm wrong, let me know because uh, I know it's next class, which is uh, 25th is your chapter nine, okay? And then we have spring break, right? You agree with me? Let me know if you don't agree with me because I think the schedule is uh, next week is a spring break, right? Oh, professor, by next class, you mean like the 25th? Like in two days, right? 25th, it is uh, inside job, okay, chapter nine, which is the okay, same okay. you learn yourself from movie, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, you yeah. read your own book. So, so we don't see each other um, from now all the way to April 6th, you, you're back. April 6th, come back, I think so. Yes, that's correct, Professor. Correct, okay, good. But, it, but if I'm wrong, follow school schedule, okay? Based on what I know, the school schedule is, uh, we have a spring break. You, you you know you're lucky have a spring break. I have so many colleagues that they don't even have a spring break. Many colleges don't have school uh, spring break now. So we have a spring break next week. All right, Good Friday, whatever. So you come back, it's April 6th, and then we're gonna be learning chapter 10. Okay, are we clear here? And um, Professor, yeah. the exam grade, are you gonna fix it? What's that? The exam grade. Like, oh, there were some uh, discrepancies about the questions. You send it to me, email to me. If anybody has question regarding your problem, about your question, not clear or something, typo, no problem. You just email to me, yes? No, 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 you cannot do that. I cannot do that. I will check in, like you mentioned that, I will verify a couple of things, okay? You just let me know you have question, say which question you have concern. Like you do this one, I will find out. You do not know the number, right? You do not know which, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, tap into me, yes, okay. You, you can find the questions once you like, go to your blackboard and then see your score if you click the no score. because my pool is very big the pool is very big so i have to find out which question so if you point out which one that'd be great and also can if it's it's my end here problem so i can adjust for you but if you end now it won't be adjusted but if adjust to everybody who have the questions will be adjusted so it's a fair effort for everybody okay so don't need to worry about that piece just need somebody, whoever feel the question, is something wrong, like you say, question rise from five to four, that's obviously it's wrong, yeah. But, but you understand what I mean from five to four, but just a word typing there is wrong, okay. Yeah, anybody else? Yeah, tell me though, okay, if you have this question, just tell me. Otherwise, I'll see you April 6th, all right? I'm just saying like there is still possibility of checking our questions online. Like if you go to Blackboard, Blackboard you can still, you do not have to uh, take a picture. Which question, which question, which problem you have? It? Just like no, say, email our to our me. like exam question, we can yeah, ask, email to me. Look, look at the questions online. Huh? What are you trying to say? No, I'm just saying the student just told uh, you that he did not take the picture of the question but i'm just saying there is a still possible like there is a way of checking your